Oh yeah, my friend, I'm Yash again. Today we will take a look what Purpose One achieved in year 2020. This is some kind of recapitulation. Are we lolling and trolling all day around or did we meet our goals? Was it a waste of time or was it a success? Let's take a step back and take this summary right how it began. This year was hard. On the beginning of January I got banned on Athene Live Discord. As you may know, I bring you after-party recordings since 2018. And my signature is there are notes. I openly challenge the mindset what Athene has. Even if there are inconsistencies, I provide facts that will course correct uh, what you hear. However, those notes turned out to be a dangerous stuff for his flock, for his religious followers. And so they did what they knew the best and they banned me. This re recording of After Party was assigned to a new member, to the ex-compound member. He was supposed to record those After Parties where Athene will look better than he looks next to my notes. This minor setback didn't change the way how, we, how I operate. As a result, I've set up the YouTube channel with the name Purpose One. We keep recording it and the ex-compound member wasn't able to catch up with us and after two months he gave up and since then he's been hating on us. And after I found out there is so much hate towards my person, I realized we need to grow. Instead of my name, Yashik, in the bottom of the corner, we have a logo of Purpose One. At the same time, I was expecting the reason why I've made those after parties was as a fan. I want to give it to you as also as a fan if you've missed it. So I keep it very tight for only people who are fans of Athene. But since they've been hating on me, I've come to a conclusion this is not the way. And those after parties are open to the public. Anyone can join. And so I did change the style from the private after parties to the open list so anyone can see what kind of shady business is done when the stream on Twitch is offline. And you can see those amazing gems like Athene lost his mind completely and there are many after parties you may enjoy. Now, by the February, all those after parties were uploaded exclusively to this YouTube channel. And we are not ending here. February was a month where I was working very hard because I col I've collected all the evidence and I've tried to put it into a user-friendly way so anyone can understand what Purpose One actually means. And so we are in a March 13, a crucial day, a second anniversary of Purpose One, the moment when Duby crashed from $250 down to $2 because Athene has been manipulating the market. This day is a memorial day. It is a day of a big scam. And to remember this day, I prepared three amazing gifts. First one, I wanted to make it better than the last year. So the first one was a sci-fi documentary, Athene's Legacy. It's a very funny one. It's more of a meme based on the fact that we've been told it's not a scam. Just wait until I release my docu. But that this docu, it was never released. So if you are looking for some kind of docu, at least have some fun with this sci-fi docu uh, where you will see a dubinator, dubinator, yes. The more serious note was the second part. It's an investigation of a scam. It's made in a form, user-friendly form, like a detective board. But on this detective board, you will be able to see what are the relationship between each members and how exactly was this scam performed. It's very crucial because for a first look, it looks funny, but it's filled and packed with a very important information. There are a QR codes. You can even scan those QR codes. You will get an ether addresses. You can verify all the claims. All the facts are there. And I can't bring you more than, than the direct evidence right in front of you. So this was the most important part of them all. And the last was the release of the webpage PRPS1.fun. Over there you will find out how it all began, what was behind it. You will see the full timeline, how it went from the day one, from the announcement to the big scam and uh, what was done even after the scam. Not just this. 
I filled up it with the beams and uh, some selected after parties. All of this comes to the purpose one. So <laughs> let's have some fun. And when it comes down to the scam investigation, for each part, this is a highly sophisticated scam that was performed on, on us. So for each section, I picked a one evidence. So you can click the link, you can go directly to the blockchain and you will see that it really happened. And every time when they say they didn't scam anyone, you know they are lying right into your face. This was a serious stuff to prove that it was a scam because it's easy to jump on the hate wagon. You need to have an evidence directly in your hands if you if you want to make a claim that someone scammed someone. And that's what I gave you. Yeah, I gave you the evidence. Now, the April, to make it uh, more funny, there was a new meme. Because after our 175 days, they made a post how they are gonna be soon on a coin market cap, how the game is gonna be released soon. Well, this was really funny and inspiration. So I've made another meme how they will be on a coin market cap. <laughs> Not only just the memes, memes. There have to be also a serious work. So I announced another project. It's a Clash of Streamers website. Indeed, it is the ultimate COS fans. And the moment of how I announce it is the next day we released it successfully. This was the April. In the May, we moved forward. I've introduced the Book of Epicness, which was supposed to be a community highlight, a page where you can find out what is trending. This, this was introduced with our first RSS feed, combining the latest news from the Athene side as well from the other communities. So you can be always in, uh, informed what is trending and what is hot. Not only this, we are closing to the June and June was the date where the game should be again released before Athene's birthday. And the countdown was not enough. I wanted to bring even more hype to this project. So I introduced a sixth stage of pre-release hype. This was done in the May. So we was waiting for the June. The countdown is counting, game is coming, all the heroes are uh, alive, being happy on our side. But then Athene came and said, well, sorry guys, no game. Okay, it was a tough decision because suddenly we had a two deadlines. One was 60% for August and the second, was, second one was 95% to September. I had to make a tough decision, which of those two dates we will show at our countdown. I choose a September one. This was also not, not all. I've introduced the green screen of a Nolan and then our site clashofstreamer.com received another update. This time it was a Supreme Council, which will highlight a YouTube creator creators for Clash of Streamers. Even now, half year later, I can't find five people that are making content about this game. So that's really sad, but it is what it is. The content is there, the place is there, it's all ready. Only the people are missing. And not only our page offers a highlighting the YouTube creators for this game, we also introduced the idea of having a different factions. Factions, something like a members of the Fist, Neutral, Athens Army, and so on. And we move on from the June to July. We are starting easy, with a new meme, like a crypto dog doing analyst, analyst on a purpose one, which is going always up, uh, except it's going down. <laughs> now something serious, Page received another update, a beta test of our heroes, the moment where you will be able to promote your hero. I've started with our three key developers and all this beta test was successful, everything was working as expected, so there was a really good success there. Also, we released a second version of Nolan on a green screen, how he is claiming the moon. In the August, well, yes, there was a 60% chance for game to be released, but that didn't happen. Instead, developers team didn't even show it online to tell us what, what is wrong. But that's okay. We don't need them in order for us to evolve, right? So we opened up the pre-order for a regular folks where you can promote your hero right away, even before the game is released, so you can have like a head of start. 
And now those promotional slots are not just about your heroes. You can character, you, you could give them even more character with our tier one flags that we introduced. Except of this, we've also add a green screen purpose one logo, then the Hypno Athene short and the end of the month of August we ended with a great meme how Maral leaves the compound under the name One Soul Saved. <laughs> of course, this is funny, not because of Maral, but because we know how Athens reacts when someone leaves the compound. How he says that they don't care about the kids if they are leaving. And that's why this meme is so funny. Now, September. This is 95% release of the game, you may say. Well, we didn't get the game. Instead, there was a third purpose fork. We was not lazy. We introduced the second tier of flags and uh, also release the green screen version of Athens Church and add another three developers to the Book of Epicness in the form of the COS heroes. We are already in the October. Now, the game is not out. We add another three devs and a new three heroes on our side. And on top of it, we also introduce a new micro tale story. This is a format where we can tell a different stories and give people even more exposure. And we also hosted a first community event on a Halloween. October is over and we are on the November. On this November 11, I got unbanned and I'm back on a Athen Live Discord so I can record after parties in a, a proper way. So that's a positive side. <laughs> that's really nice. On a November 14, well, the game has failed and uh, how to say it nicely? It's really strange. They are not, they are pulling those dates out of their asses or what? So we decided to make a timeline and to record all what they say, the way how the game is developed. So you can actually verify it on our independent site what was done each month. That's our timeline and uh, the roadmap for the future as well, what we know. So that's another section on our side. And we are here at the end of the year, December. 7, 23 and 31. That's a triple game fail. <laughs> it's not released. I'm sorry, guys. I don't know how is this even possible. We were told that we are not getting beta because we suck and we can't test it properly. So now when the game is supposed to be released, reason why it's not released is because we are reporting bugs. Bugs that are not supposed to be there in the first place. So it's apparently our fault that we have a beta that's buggy. Anyway, developers can't give us a proper event. We introduced a Christmas event, a winter holidays from a December 15 to January 6, and it included eight special gifts which was giving works, it was a funny quiz, Grinch strikes again, it was a micro tale story, web update that allows us to run two different scenarios, scenarios like a micro tales and the pre-release hype, and also the Santa hat for our heroes. Then we have a Grinch treasure, which is a part, there's a second part for a Grinch in a form of a short comic strip, and also a streamer's kit, uh, which is an animated lo logo for Clash of Streamers within the winter holiday spirit with the Christmas head. And the final one is a prototype showcase. Okay, guys, this is our action in a year 2020. We were very produ productive and I'm surprised that someone still has a guts to say that I am a hater. I'm not a hater, guys, I'm not. Hater would, wouldn't do what, I, what I'm doing. If someone is hating me, essentially what they are doing, they are hating on our team. That's what I think about it. I don't know if I can give you more. Athene asked me if I will be giving back and I told him, yes, I will. And I'm not done. <laughs> this was purpose one in a year 2020. See you in 2021. Bye bye.